More than 20,000 living Americans have been declared dead by the government. When this grave mistake happens, it can cause problems with government benefits, your job, and your credit. On your side, consumer investigator Jen Strathman found this grave mistake can also lead to identity theft. Every month, 1,200 living Americans are considered dead by the government. The government knows about these mistakes but disagrees with how to fix it. It doesn't take much searching to find full Social Security numbers of people who have died. But a Scripps Howard News Service investigation found some of these dead people are actually alive. It's very hard to prove you're alive. Now, when paper says you're dead. Judy Rivers says proving she's alive is a living nightmare. She's been denied credit, jobs, and even her innocence. When I used a debit card, unfortunately, the police were called and they took me to the police station because they thought it was an identity theft. Judy did not steal someone else's identity. She was robbed of her own identity when someone, somewhere, marked dead next to Judy's Social Security number. The Social Security Administration says it did not make the error, but according to a 2008 Inspector's General report, data entry is the primary source of error. And five on your side found it's not always the government's fault. Sometimes consumers make the data entry error. It was my fault in the beginning, but I mean, how many times can you call somebody and tell them, yeah, I'm talking to you, I'm breathing, I'm alive, and they just wouldn't believe me. With a click of a mouse on a tax return, Candace Atkins declared herself dead. It took her two years to fix the problem, even though the inspector general said 90% of the time it takes just a year to fix the mistake. I don't understand why it took so long. The longer it takes to fix, the higher the chance your information could be stolen. When you die, your social security number, name, date of birth, death date, and zip code become public information. It's available to anyone on the internet in a database known as the Death Master File. The database Space is publicly available to prevent fraud, but when the data is wrong, it can cause fraud. It made me wonder for a while, too, if I wasn't going to be a victim of identity theft. Candace finally regained her true identity, and it doesn't appear anyone tarnished it while she was dead. But making this wrong information public is a concern for Consumer Watchdog. It's an organization fighting for justice for American consumers and taxpayers. This is not an error. That's minor. This is an error that can cause serious financial harm to consumers. An investigation by our partners at the Scripps Howard News Service found more than 31,000 consumers who were declared dead and later found to be alive. It's an error the Social Security Administration doesn't deny, but the agency says it's rare. Social Security added a disclaimer to the Death Master file that says it, quote, cannot guarantee the accuracy of the Death Master file. But the Inspector General says making that information public, knowing it may be wrong, is against Social Security's own policy to protect confidential information. And most Americans would expect them to protect it more, more securely. The Inspector General recommended the Social Security Administration take extra steps to avoid errors and limit the amount of information publicly available. But the IG said Social Security disagreed with both recommendations. It's a frustrating runaround for consumers caught in the middle. I think there has to be a better system developed. Um, this just doesn't work. If you check your credit report at least once a year, you're likely to spot a mistake with your name. Go to Newsnet5.com for tips to check your report for free. And if you think you're a grave mistake victim, let us know. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5.